<gasps> Hi, beautiful. You look stunning. Thank you so much for being here today. We're doing our favorite thing ever, which is watch people burn their hair off. I know what you're thinking, Brad. You shouldn't like that. You should not want people to do that. When I don't, it's like I don't, no, 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 I don't want, I really don't, please don't do that. What if you're gonna do a record it? It's like, mm, don't do it, but oh, it's entertaining. It's fucking entertaining. So let's watch some people demolish their hair together. I have always been platinum blonde. I have been brunette one other time and it's when I had a pixie cut. I was trying to grow it out so I didn't want to touch my hair and then bleached it back to blonde. The only other times I have not been blonde is when I have dyed my hair just a bunch of different colors. And then something awoke in me. I was like, yeah, I'm a black haired girly. And I've done permanent dye, different brands. Whoa. <laughs> All right, so she is a blonde hair girly. You can tell by her roots, she is naturally dark blonde. Anybody out there who's watching this who colors their hair dark when they're naturally blonde, you know it's always an issue. You. The moment you get any kind of root, it looks like you are growing gray hair. So it just never quite looks right. And the maintenance is real. You gotta be in that salon every two weeks or doing your own color every two weeks or else you look like you're graying. She kind of has that situation going on. You know, you can see that in the top is a little more reflective and it's a little gray looking. It's not gray, it's just blonde. Recently she's gone darker, she's dyed her hair black. It keeps washing out. It's the whole situation, but she has a lot of color on her hair and then she's gonna try and lift it out, I'm sure. So let's watch what happens. I'm gonna take my Myself back to platinum blonde. Is this a dumb idea? Yes. Ah, got him. Yes. Yes. Dumb idea. Um, so she's gonna go back to platinum blonde. <laughs> oh! This is my current hair. None of this has been bleached. Here's the thing. You're, gonna, you're like, your hair is gonna fry off. I don't care because as much as I've also been a platinum girl, girly. She's also been a bald hair girly. Is that what she's supposed to say? To be bald? I have always been a short hair girly. And I have loved my short hair. Okay, got it. Not quite bald, because we might end up with bald. Maybe not even short, just bald. So I don't care if I fry my hair because I'm cutting this much off anyways. And then we'll just deal with the other consequences later. You know, I vibe with that if you're really committed to that. I've done that so many times in my life. Like, just deal with the consequences later. Live in the moment, okay? Just do what you feel in that moment. If you f it up, you deal with the consequences. I'm dealing with consequences right now on many levels, so I get what you mean. As I had already put the bleach on my hair, I realized I didn't cut my hair first. I was gonna cut my hair first so that I wasn't gonna over process the parts I was gonna cut off anyways, and so I could like save on bleach and not just bleach hair that was getting cut off. Yes, I agree with her. She should have cut her hair first. Do it beforehand because you don't wanna be coloring all that length and using all that product for hair that's just gonna go on the floor anyways and be swept into the trash. Talk over our fan, but my husband just got home. Okay, I don't know what she's coloring her hair with. Obviously it's bleached, but like, I don't know if it's 20 volume or 30 volume or what she's doing. So she is using foils, which I would definitely like, if she was in the salon, 100% would do. You guys though feel way too confident and cocky when it comes to foils. It is one of the hardest things to master doing a really good foiling job. And also you guys always take too much hair in these foils. You should be able to see through the hair. If your slices are too big where you can't see through the hair, too much in that foil. You're not gonna get even saturation, you're not gonna get even heat distribution, and it's gonna be patchy and ugly. And what we don't want is patchy and ugly. We want sexy and cute and even. Okay, so she is working her way around this head, and honestly, her foiling pattern is intense. She is going from one side all the way to the other and kind of just flipping the foils over as she goes. Interesting technique. It's just gonna be messy this way. So next time, maybe just do four quadrants, make it simple for you, and start from the top and work your way down. Or start from the bottom and work your way up. There's more than one way to do shit. But she is going for it, and she is committing to the process where she is just getting these foils in. And I am so fucking nervous because this again is the hardest thing to do yourself and she's really trying to lift her hair to platinum blonde from what she had before which is a very dark brown you know it's never an easy process and it's not usually like a one step and then you're done it's many steps and then you're done later on and sometimes these things take many weeks of hard work and a lot of foils and a lot of bleach to get right but we're gonna see what happens after this first round of bleach and hopefully things look decent but I'm not super hopeful here's where we're at we're just, everything is saturated, covered. The red was redding. I can see that the red is redding. I can see that orange, yellowy tinge to the hair. Sometimes that orangey tinge is really stubborn and does not come out. Sometimes if you put enough lighter on there with enough power, you can punch it out. So usually in the salon, what we do with this kind of method is we do the mids and ends in foils. And then once that is all processed to a nice yellowy blonde, you can kind of pull the foils down and then touch up all the roots in 
between all the foils. So everything should already be pretty nicely sectioned out since you just did all that foil work for the mids and ends. So all you gotta do is flip off the foil, paint the underneath of the root, and then flip it back down and paint the top of the root. That is the benefit of doing like a platinum card method as people call it. This, what she did though, was kind of just, she said, fuck it. She said, I'm gonna pull all the foils out. <laughs> I'm just gonna put some more bleach on my whole entire head. This is kind of an unsafe method to do because now what you're doing is you're reapplying brand new lightener to all the mids and ends again. Sometimes you do not need that much strength, right? You need to just do that one process. She's basically doing two processes right now. And also if you're using like 30 volume and then you switch to 20 volume, you're basically making a 25 volume on your head. Things are gonna be all over the place and it's gonna be crazy. So I don't know about this. I don't know about it at all. When I went to wash out the bleach, my hair was coming off in clumps. Oh, no! That was from my brush, and then like this is what was left in my brush, and I threw on my toner, but I was like panicking. I'm like, is the toner going to melt the rest of the hair off? Oh, her hair was falling off. Oh my God, did you see how much hair was on that showered floor? And her brush, I mean like her roots look nearly overprocessed. I am worried that a lot more is gonna come out. And I'm like panicking, but I'm like, I need to tone this. And I didn't leave the toner on long enough. Oh, this is the scariest moment. When you tone overprocessed hair that is currently falling off your head, you really gotta be careful with the toners because the moment you put any kind of ash tone in your toner formula and your hair is already super compromised, it is going to suck up all that blue it's a struggle you got to replace those golds back in the hair if your hair is overly compromised you kind of have to do like a fill i'm not giving maybe into like if you're not a professional and you don't know what that means i'm not even gonna get into it today but filling with gold sometimes helps these situations where the hair is really over compromised and you still have to tone it it's the next morning here's where we're at there's going to be red peeking through if this go around of toner just truly doesn't look good i will touch my hair one more time and i'll either go back to sally's and get like light brown gloss or I might just go copper. Okay, so she's saying that she might go copper. I think that would be better for her because if your hair is overly compromised, again, it's gonna take in those ash tones really quickly. And if you make it more copper toned, then it will probably come out better and more even if that makes any sense. It made sense in my head, but I feel like I didn't say it correctly. Also, I feel like she's been dying. She's been toning her hair for like an hour. What what's going on? <laughs> I don't wanna hear it. Okay. I don't want to hear it. Oh, you're going to hear it. You're going to, you're about to fucking hear it. First of all, why don't you show us the steps? I'm mad at you for that. Um, how do we get on toner number four so quickly? Also, by the way, can we zoom in here? That is a brown toner, is it not? How do we go from platinum blonde to now we are dyeing our hair brown? <laughs> what were we being so dramatic for? Here's the results. A very sandy, nude, beige ashy-ish-ish -ish blonde. I think she's cute. All right, I am utterly confused. How do we go from this toner to this result? These look so different than the toner. I would have been like, fuck. The results are not platinum blonde, but they are good. And this is the most optimal result she could have possibly gotten. What? And I love it too. I think it looks really nice. I would like it to be more of a platinum blonde for sure. But even she said like, it would have been difficult to get that at one session. I agree. Could have maybe been done professionally, but she did a damn good job for not being a professional. I would think this is the most optimal color for what she started with and one session of coloring. Well, I mean, and four toners. So <laughs> I'll never forget that. But I do also love the haircut and the way she styled it. She kind of ate that up. What? What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Tammy Yellshot. Okay, we are starting off with some twists. And welcome back for my lovely subscribers. Oh, we're cutting them off. Okay. So I'm removing now my hair because I have been feeling like I need to cut this hair. Whoa. Okay, so we already have a pretty major transformation happening before our eyes. She just cut off all of her twists and now she has her hair all free and ready to be bleached and demolished with bleach. I went and bought the wrong bleach. Um, I didn't know that I'm not supposed to use the box bleach. Ah, we're using box bleach. This might be fine for her because her hair is very dark, but her hair is curly and it is very fine. So I do worry about box bleach bleach because box bleach tends to have like 30 40 and even i think 50 volume that is the standard for box bleach i'm 
pretty sure, don't quote me on that, but um, they want you to get the most maximum results with one round of lightning, but this can also compromise your hair a lot. As you can see, I still have some spots that did not get bleached. I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it again. You gotta apply a lot of lightener, heavily, saturate, layer that shit on like toothpaste, okay? Or else you're gonna have spots that don't have lightener on them and it's going to be splotchy and crazy. So I don't want to lie because I don't know how long I waited for that. I went and washed it and um, now I'm gonna wash it with the purple shampoo. All right. I'm so sorry, but you definitely didn't process it enough at all. I mean, your hair lifted one shade with like 40 volume and a bag over it. There's an issue there. Definitely leave it on a lot longer. Um, blue shampoo cancels orange and your hair is not orange. Well, it's like a deep burgundy, but it's not gonna do anything. If you want a blonde, you're gonna keep going. Okay, now she's bleaching her hair again and she's waiting one hour with the bleach on. That is definitely a good amount of time. About 45 minutes to an hour for virgin color applications of lightener is usually suggested. And I'm back. My head is burning, kinda, a little bit. It's like tingling. We are clearly not putting enough lightener on the head because her hair is still not blonde. This should be one of the easiest things to do. <laughs> like seriously foolproof. And I found out that I did the wrong thing. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to put the purple shampoo, go to Amazon and buy a better bleach. Yes! We're gonna buy the real deal. I can't wait. I've been waiting for this the whole time. I'm watching. My package came as you can see from that part. Hold the fuck on. Did she put the bleach on her face too? As a face mask? One, two, and three. Whoa. Oh, hell no. Whoa. Oh, ah. I, I think I like it. I am like, wow, oh my God. All right. Well, now we're at neon yellow, and this is the third round. How is it this <laughs> hard? I'm so sorry. Unless she had box color on her hair, because it does look like something unnatural is lifting out of her hair. Like, that is neon yellow, and you usually don't get neon yellow unless there's some kind of something in your hair. Now, oh, what the hell is that? No. <laughs> but no, I forgot some parts. <laughs> We missed a ton of spots at the root. When you're bleaching hair this short, you can totally use a fine tooth comb right after you apply the color, like right after. Just make sure you reapply the stuff that's on the comb back to your hair and get it fully saturated because sometimes it can wipe off the bleach. If you see this video, don't bleach your hair at home. She missed half of her roots. Half. How? Okay, so now she's just trying to apply to her millimeter of missed root. This is crazy. See, I'm just putting the chemical, the bleach, at the patches that I missed so that it can lift well and i'm gonna leave it for some few minutes not longer and i was very scared that it's gonna cut my hair because i took the highest volume it's getting worse and worse and worse and then she wrapped it around with saran wrap and her ends went right back in that bleach and you can tell right now it's starting to look really frazzled so it's not that bad you know we're starting so far so good you know so yeah i love the texture i love the curls i really love it ah you can tell that there's some pieces that are so over processed and then she has yellow mixed in this is the worst so this is the next day so i'm sectioning my hair as you can see i am going the right way i want to bleach everything i don't want to leave patches like yesterday so she finally decides to do four quadrants and apply for i think like the fifth time ah and her hair is so compromised like this her hair is gonna fall out and today i've decided nah i'm not gonna use my hands the pain was bearable it was not painful but it was just so uncomfortable this thing is burning. You just bleached your hair five times in a row. Your head is probably on fire. You are gonna have lesions on your head. Don't do this. It has been a damn process. I noticed something very weird about my hair. Show us. It was falling off bit by bit. Like it was just falling and falling and falling. So I was like, Am I going to pause this video? Yes or no? No! After all of that, no! <laughs> There's nothing else we can do besides shave it at this point. Are you saying that? My hair is gone. It's dead. And even you can see. It's falling. See. It's falling. She has bald spots. How did we get this bad? This is going to happen right now. Woo! The first chop. Yeah. Okay, so she ends up shaving it. <laughs> it looks fierce, but like, oh my god, even if shaved though, it's still damaged. Listen, you win the award for really just going at it with the bleach. You won that! Oh my 
God, that sucks. I mean, you still look beautiful though. Just don't do that again. Uh, next time, just 30 volume lightener, one process for like an hour. Let's just maybe stick, leave it there because you don't look bad with the warm blonde. Like you don't need it to be white. You just pushed it a little too far. I'm bleaching my hair again. I'm gonna do what Brad Mondo says to do. He says you're supposed to split your hair up into four sections. And if I said it, it must be correct, right? No, it is correct. Yeah, no, four sections is good. Also, I cut my bangs myself. You can't see them very well right now because they're up in there. I cut them myself using the curtain bang tutorial. Okay, so she is starting off with the darkest, darkest hair. It is inky black, and she is gonna try and lighten it to, I guess, blonde? <laughs> There's my four sections. Are they even? They're definitely not, because a lot of it felt thicker than the rest of it. They're like, they're all right. That is not four quadrants. That's a scary one. We're mixing up 30 volume and bleach, and she's actually using the mixing ratio. Sick. Genuinely, like I'm not even being sarcastic. I think that's great. Don't worry, this is not all that I have a volumizer, because my hair, I have a lot of hair. I wasn't worried until you said volumizer. Who's a, what's a volumizer? Okay, here's my first little section of hair right here. So we're just gonna bring Brush it, and we're gonna do a little bit at a time, and just add some bleach. I wasn't scared, but now I'm scared. I'm scared too. I'm scared too. I'm scared too. We are definitely fully saturating the hair, and she is she's been, she's pretty thorough with it. Now, guys, I know I told you for a long time to do mids and ends first, and that is still true. You can do it like that, and that is a great way to do it as a professional. But as I watch more of these videos, it is evident that you guys cannot do that. It's never done right when you don't do the roots first. So what? I recommend is doing like a uh, 15 volume on the roots first, okay? Saturate them, get them really nice and beautiful, and then go on the ends with a higher developer. Now, this is not a one size fits all, so I can't recommend what developers using your roots versus your ends, but you wanna do something higher on your mids and ends and lower on your roots. That way, everything processes evenly enough because the way you're doing it with the mids and ends, guys, it's just not working, and I realize that, and I wanna help you. I'm trying. Grab some and slap how it in there. How long do I have it in there? Until it's blonde. Oh, oh, sorry. He's doing his own hair. Oh, got it. Okay. What if he reacts to this? Hi, Brad Mondo. What's up, Brady boy? He could see this. Hello, you guys. I am. I am watching your video. Thank you. Thank you for recording and posting this because I am on the edge of my seat. She has so much hair to work through. So it is so important that she takes very fine sections or else she is going to get spotty blotchiness all over her entire head and it's gonna look terrible. So I hope she doesn't do that. All right. <laughs> it went downhill quick because I can tell that her mi her mids and ends are not blonde yet. And we have to wait for the mids and ends to become blonde to then apply to the root because the root lifts extremely quickly, especially if you're putting like 30 volume on it. I forgot to also mention in previous videos that um, we're not applying the same developer to the root as we did to the ends, okay? Even if we do this method, we gotta apply something less, okay? So like 20 volume to the roots is usually appropriate. But yeah, if you put 30 volume on, it's gonna lift really fast fast and everything is gonna turn out in different colors um so underneath the brown there was pink and so we're getting the pink again underneath the brown where there was pink you weren't gonna tell us that until now this looks like it's a spot it's not it's just wet um because i sprayed water all over my head and casey just sh showered his out i'm waiting a little bit longer she's gonna rinse it out it does not look done so casey's looks good um and i left mine in for too long and my hair is streaming <coughs> and it's bless you Thanks. and it's literally falling out <laughs> <laughs> Why is it pink? I'm gonna just let it dry on its own. I'm not gonna put heat on it because I tried and That's it was probably fun. a good idea. It looks like it is stretchy. It's about to fall off of her head. Whatever you do right now, don't brush it. Let it air dry or blow dry it, but just rough dry it. Don't try putting a brush in there because it will all come out. Brad Mondo, what do I put in this to make it not look like that? Oh, no, 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 no. This is the worst case scenario. She has red, she has pink, she has has yellow, she has over-processed ends that are falling off. Everything is going wrong. This side is fine. Like nothing happened here. Um, I knew it was gonna be pink and I didn't care. I knew there was pink underneath the brown from the last time because I just died right over it. Why is this side better than this side? I don't understand what I did wrong. Brad Mondo, help me save me. I'm gonna cry. What do you want me to do? I'm not there with you, okay? This is not my problem. I will say that green cancels out red. Okay, that's your first clue on what to do. Grab a color wheel, okay? Use it for your toner. I'm um, gonna also just go darker. You're not gonna be blonde today and you're not gonna be able to get this Red out without snapping all your hair off and cut your hair. I mean, those are my recommendations.
This is, that's my hair. No, as tempting as it is, don't pull it. It will come out. What is that? It feels like ramen noodles. Oh, no, 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 no. Best case scenario, she colors it pink. That's really, like, I, that's what I would do for you. Let's not work against the hair, let's work with it. Okay, so I found a part two to this video because that's where she ended the other video. So let's just see what happens. Okay, I'm really glad she chose, like, a really dark, plummy color because otherwise it was not going to cover that mess. The purple color is all applied. Now let's see what the end result is. It's the next morning. It's horrible, but it's, like, better than it was. It's not like actively like stretching and clumping out. But I have hair on my head and that's good because I didn't think I would. It's definitely patchy because I wasn't doing the best job putting it in. It's fine. She doesn't seem that satisfied with the results. I'm extremely satisfied. Like, I think this is the best case scenario. I mean, she did kind of end up going darker again, and now she's gonna have an issue with trying to lighten this red out again when she wants to go blonde again, and it's gonna be a whole thing. But at least now she has an even color, and it looks like her hair is not falling off anymore, even though it kind of is still really damaged underneath this plummy purple color. But at least she covered it up enough to make it wearable. And I actually enjoy this color on her. Well, you guys really... You really know how to stir things up in my life. Um, thank you for those insanely scary videos. I am scared. That was a lot to handle mentally for me. Anyways, if you wanna check out my hair care or my hair color line so your hair doesn't end up like theirs, you can do so with the links right down below or go to xmonahair.com or go to Sally Beauty or go to Amazon. And that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.